Well again, 343 released the new game coming to MCC a bit early. So you can go update your game right now to experience Season 4 and Halo 4 on MCC. In this video, we're going to review everything within the Season 4 pass and all the hidden changes you probably didn't know were coming to the MCC with this update. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. <music> How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this, and it greatly helps out the video and channel so more people get to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. So just like Halo 3, just like Halo 3 ODST, 343 decided to release Halo 4 on the PC the night before the official release date of 10 a.m. Tuesday Pacific Standard Time. So if you haven't done it, go on and update your game now. Make sure you watch this video first though. Make sure you do that and then go update your stuff. Now I did go over everything new coming to the uh, MCC. I made it in this video right over here. So I highly suggest you go check that out. That was actually one of my most viewed videos I've had in a very long time. So I really appreciate the support guys. In this video, I'm gonna actually be able to showcase all the new stuff coming to the MCC, as well as some hidden changes that weren't mentioned at all until the actual day of this release. Well, first I wanna go over the patch notes so you understand what's changed right now with the MCC and how long it's gonna take for you to update the game and how to actually do it. And then we're gonna go into the season four stuff as well. So let's jump right into it right now. So you can see right here, the official MZC patch notes happening for you guys. Make sure your game is up to date to this version right here. I will leave a link in the description to this page. So if in case you wanna follow step by step of how to update your uh, system or update your PC versions as well, you can go ahead and do that. And trust me, you Xbox players are going to need a lot of space because this is a 47, almost really 48 gigabyte size update for you microsoft store people like that's pretty dang big and also you have the xbox versions as well of a 42 gigabyte update steam players have a 25 gigabyte update and don't forget you have to download the games themselves as well so you have to save a lot of time to update your mcc i also do want to mention that a lot of these changes do apply to multiple games outside of just halo 4 we have halo 3 fixes we have halo reach h2a as well on top of obviously halo 4 fixes so a lot of things were changed throughout the mcc they do go over some of the new features that are coming to the mcc again i did make this in my previous video guys i highly suggest checking it out if you want to see everything so i don't reiterate myself and make this into like a 30 minute long video uh, but one of the cool things i think they mentioned here which wasn't really mentioned previously the same player emblems are now visible in gameplay in both Halo Reach and in Halo 4, which is super nice to see right there. Next, we're into the resolved issues. Uh, these are all things that actually weren't mentioned previously at all. So we have some global issues. That means everything involving the MCC as a whole. Uh, nameplates in the season rewards menu are now the correct size and resolution. I definitely noticed some of those being quite blurry, so that's really good to see. The view maps in playlist menu now always displays a count of maps, which is good to know. And then lastly, for global changes, uh, added dynamic scaling to names on challenge progress notifications to resolve text clipping issues. Now we're into the Halo 4 changes. So for the general changes for Halo 4, increase the volume of the switch grenade audio cue, making it audible once more. The amount of time needed to trigger and hold or toggle behavior for zooming in with a weapon has been adjusted. The correct sound effect now plays when performing a melee on objects on walls. Now we're into the campaign side of things. Very quick and simple here, guys. Uh, accessing a terminal now plays the video in-game rather than the Halo Channel app. Thank God you don't have to worry about the Halo Channel app anymore. It just plays in-game. That's fantastic. It also plays along later with Spiral Ops. We'll get into that just in a minute here. Uh, see the skybox in the Mission Reclaimer has been upscaled to show more clear. That's really great to see. They did that in Halo 3 with various uh, skyboxes. So I'm glad to see they did that with uh, Halo 4 as well. Uh, Spiral Ops episodes now play in the menus rather than in the Halo Channel app. Guys, if you haven't seen these cutscenes for Spartan Ops, you absolutely need to at least watch them on YouTube because it's actually a really good story, really well done, blur cutscenes, they look fantastic, and finally, they'll be playing in-game. 
which is fantastic. I actually don't even really remember watching them in game because the Halo Channel app never really worked for me, or at least never did as it was supposed to. So this is actually me finally my chance to play through the Spartan Ups and also experience the story along with it, which is uh, fantastic. And they also added support for Spartan Ups to PVE challenges on top of that. We'll be going into the challenges later in this video. Now in the multiplayer, there are multiple little fixes right here. Nothing really too noticeable that'd be like consistent gameplay changes, more just kind of like one-off bugs or kind of weird things like fix an issue where shadows from forge objects were not displaying appropriately like yeah yeah it's an issue but it's not exactly anything game breaking and odst here they did a uh, general fix and also for firefight saying they fixed an issue causing incorrect shadows to appear on some objects and enhanced graphics and for firefight you see they fix an issue causing multiple sound effects to fire instead of one leading to repeated voice dialogue of coveted enemies and player actions i definitely noticed this one that's a bit weird now here in halo 3 they actually made a significant update to the gameplay guys if you guys don't know about what are you know essentially dirtying weapons they brought that back into halo 3. If you guys don't know what dirtying weapons are in hardcore the weapons will spawn in the air and then drop to the ground once a weapon drops to the ground that's when the timer starts it's just a way in halo 3 to kind of make the weapon timers more consistent well dirtying a weapon is being able to pick up that weapon while it's falling right as it spawns and then as you pick it up you keep walking around and as soon as you stop walking that's when the weapon just disturbed time starts and so you can actually kind of dirty up some weapon time so you can kind of give your team more of an advantage to know when those power weapons are popping back up and they finally brought that back in halo 3 it's a very important feature uh for the, the competitive side of things and i'm really glad to see they brought that back halo 2 anniversary has some changes right here uh just a very minor general one right here uh some cool stuff happening right here uh non-host players can now use toggle rotation axis function as expected which is super nice to see uh, combat evolved has some changes added in here as well just really tiny one for the campaign the all according to plan achievement now will be unlocked as expected halo reach has some changes uh, the big one here for me is the adjusted crosshair for centered crosshair view model positioning is now in line with other titles as in previously when you put your crosshair at center it would just lift the weapon up and kind of cover half your screen but now they just decide just to kind of angle it up i brought it up in my previous video again i get I suggest you guys go check that one out. It'll be linked at the end of this video as well. And some other rather minor changes with the MCC, but you can kind of see how there was a lot of little things that got cleaned up right here. So now I'm sure one thing you guys are super excited about, and that is the content within season four. Now we kind of reviewed it a little bit in my previous video, just kind of showcasing everything that's locked. Well, now we actually have a chance to overlook everything that's going to be evolved with this. Now we have 50 tiers within the season pass and each one is worth one point as you can kind of see right here as i kind of just will toggle through right here everything's worth one point last season they had a few items that are worth two points everything's worth one so you'll need 50 season points unlock everything for season four i'm at 49 so if you guys want to catch us when they hit that level 50 and unlock everything Check out the link in the description for my Twitch channel, guys. We'll be streaming it for sure when we unlock all 50 items. Let me just take away my webcam to view, avoid any blocking of things. Right here we have some nameplates. We have an Arctic Warthog. But this really cool like wood gold leather kind of camel you'll see throughout Halo 4. Uh, you also see that each item is listed as either MCC, like nameplates, and or items that are for specific games as in Halo 3 and Halo 4. There are going to be no Halo Reach items within this season right here. But again, guys, uh, you can kind of see all the different items within the season pass right here. Again, they got like this cool like shark face, face teeth kind of weapon skin for Halo 3. Now uh, you got some new camos like this one for the SMG. And we have some repeating ones like we've seen for the uh, a lot of the Covenant weapons and Covenant vehicles are very similar kind of customization. That we have in CE brought over to Halo 3. Like you see the corrosion version of this uh, Gauss Hog right here. We have like the green version of a Banshee. That's similar to what we've had before. Uh, the gold shotgun. That's cool right there for sure, right? I'm sure a lot of you guys are kind of curious about a gold battle rifle. We have right here, we have a gold freaking uh, plus pistol. But as you can kind of scroll through, one thing is kind of becoming apparent. There is no gold BR skin, which is very surprising to see. Maybe they're holding this back for a season pass or something like that, because the last item you can unlock is the gold sniper rifle with a cracked visor nameplate along with that. I believe there's like 70 plus items along with this season pass. So yeah, kind of surprising we didn't get a chance to un unlock a gold BR skin. We did see that in the leaked video when it came to uh, the season four content, which I made a video on as well. I highly suggest you guys check that out. Maybe they're bringing it in a specific kind of unlock because in this new seasonal challenges, 
He has some brand new unlocks styles that you've never seen before. Uh, right here, for example, if you uh, reach rank 15 in Halo 4 Squad Battles, which is ranked Halo 4, you can unlock the Blood Splatter DMR skin, which trust me, looks absolutely awesome. And then on top of that, reach rank 25 in ranked Halo 4 to unlock this weapon skin for the battle rifle within the game as well. So you, you get rather prestigious unlocks happening right now for the seasonal challenges, guys. We have one of completing a playlist within Halo 4, which to complete that playlist, you just all you gotta do is just go over into Halo 4 in the campaign, go to playlist. We have three different playlists right here that have three missions as a whole so everything else is 10 so basically i would suggest just playing around with those three this one might be a little tricky for you guys this is a complete the halo 4 campaign or sparring ops missions in co-op sessions at least do seven missions right there might be kind of difficult to find people i highly suggest going on either twitch to find people to play with r slash halo players on reddit is a great spot to find players as well now reach out to people on twitter reach out to people to say like hey retweet my name or something like that so i can at least get some you know people knowing that i want to play some games or leave a name in the comment section down below if you guys are trying to find some co-op friends leave a comment of your gamer tag below you might find some new friends a lot of the other challenges are pretty straightforward like complete some sparring ops chapters uh complete match made multiplayer games that's 25 of them in halo 4. i'm sure you guys are curious about the recon slayer challenge if you guys remember that uh, if you reach rank 20, you'd be able to unlock the new uh, weapon skin for the sniper rifle right here. As soon as the season started, if you hit rank 20, log on, you should be able to unlock it right away. It's still here. You just have eight days left to get this challenge completed to reach rank 20. Uh, I kind of stopped playing because I hit like rank 14 and kept matching against like the same like five people over and over again that were like semi-pro players. So I kind of stopped playing. <laughs> and you currently can't unlock this weapon skin within the season pass. So it's very important to know that. Sadly, some of us will be missing out on some of this awesome gear because it's locked behind ranks, right? But there is some way to earn some gear yourself without having to worry about ranks. And that is checking out Into the AM. Into the AM recently reached out to me to kind of show off some of the graphics tees that they have option. They are a clothing company based in California, guys. And I gotta say, some of the stuff they sent in looks pretty freaking awesome. I try it on, it feels great, it fits well, and it just has a really cool style to it. If you follow the link in the description down below for my affiliate link you get a chance to save 20 percent off your purchase but also don't forget they're doing a black friday sale on the 23rd meaning that you can double up on that sale of 20 percent on the website 20 percent on my link saving yourself 40 percent so if you want to grab some awesome looking tees guys check out the link in the description down below and thank you into the am for these elevated everyday graphics tees you can grab one now for 20 percent off or wait until black friday and get yourself one 40 percent off by using the link in the description down below if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to tap that like button let me know you want to see some more content like this and i greatly appreciate you checking out the video guys yeah, miss any content for me? Check out the videos on the screen right over here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos. You've been on the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.